All right. Picky eating. Are you a picky eater? You're like, have a drink of uh, air. Go, 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 go. I'm not picky when it comes to air. I love air. I take all types of air. When I was a kid, I, there was a, a a comic book that was called Air Raiders, and it was a it was took place in the future, and it was about um, people who would, were taking air and keeping it and rationing it to people. <laughs> air Raiders. I had the you number paid one. for this comic? Yeah, I was like, if I get, I always wanted to get a number one. I was like, if I could get the number one Air Raiders, Air Raider number one, then maybe I'll be rich one day. Well, I lost it. And, I don't think it would be much of a big deal if I still had it. And you're not rich. Are you picky? I'm not picky. I'm one of the least picky eaters you will ever meet. Uh, I can vouch for that. Very few things that I have ever tasted that I did not like. And even going back to childhood, like we're talking like middle school. I remember not liking honey mustard. And then thinking, I don't like honey mustard, but so often I order something. And it has honey mustard on it. So if I just make the decision to like honey mustard, then my life will improve. And it took about six months. I love honey mustard now. I, just, I could rub it on a stick and eat the stick. Well, I'd probably just lick the honey mustard off. I could put honey mustard into this air cup and drink it. I find it curious mm. that the one thing was honey mustard. That's so weird. Now, I don't like mustard. Uh, yeah, because you're picky. Incredibly I'm, picky. I am a picky eater, but I will say that uh, I'm not nearly as picky as I used to be. Uh, something happens when you go through college and you don't want to spend money on anything, including food, and then you get married to a woman who actually likes to cook. She's a and, good cook. And move, she wants to move cook. Move in, in a little bit here. I'd move like to get, have you on a no, third there, Link. I want to be over. Can I be over here? I want you on a third. I'm trying to figure out where I should be. Well, you shouldn't be where you were. So what? <laughs> Thanks for that. I need to have my nothing in the right place and me in the right place. When you get married, if you're smart, you'll re reach the same realization I did. And that is, if this woman is willing to cook for me, I'm going to eat it. I decided I can't be picky anymore because this anything woman, this woman anything she cooks I don't I'm gonna eat because I don't want to risk her deciding to stop cooking stuff for me because it enhances the relationship when you appreciate and partake of things that this woman offers yeah and I just don't want to go hungry either yeah well so you're still pretty picky I would say that you're like on a scale of one to ten you're you're still like a seven in terms of picky but yeah. you, you've come down from a nine. Well, you're a six. Right. You come down from a nine, probably. I mean, you still don't like... It, it's, it, I it's, will not... I, I, I can't do sushi. No sushi, no tomatoes. No tomatoes. Uh, you don't really like cheese that much. No, I like... You mean like weird cheeses? Yeah, like any like special cheeses. You'll eat crap, but that's cheese product. That's not cheese. That's a... Well, it's sliced cheese. That's very exquisite. That's cheese product. But you know what? We were asking ourselves, talking about how we were picky or linked picky. I'm not picky. And we said, what makes somebody picky? What makes somebody picky? What do you think? And we said, you know, what we could do is we could start researching this or no, no, we don't want to find out for ourselves. We want someone to find out. So we actually commissioned some mythical beasts. Two would, mythical beasts. It would be great if there were some mythical beasts out there who would say, you know what? We're willing to go the extra mile to, to put the, put the pavement on the scavement and find some answers. The so, two people who have those answers, hopefully, are Nick and Dustin, that's the polar fox, and the Kangle Wolf. <laughs> Mythical They're beast. also known as Horrible Fiction together. They got a YouTube channel, very funny guys. We have commissioned them. We commission you. Mythical agents. Polar fox and Kangle Wolf. Mythical beast agents to do some research for us and find out or theorize what makes a picky eater. All right, so they have agreed to correspond as a matter of fact, the correspondence video, you can click on it and watch it. Let's put, let's put it right here. Right on top of my air cup. That's right there. So we're floating it up there, right there in between us. Now, there's an opportunity for a community building exercise which they tell you about, and you can win some things by contributing to the community building exercise which they lay out in their correspondence vlog. So watch that. We want to hear from you people. They want to hear from you. So watch their video and then uh, some air in here too. Let the fun begin. Mm. This is a little bit better than that air.